Hey, welcome back. Can you believe it? Three, three, 300 subscribers. Wow, my mind is blown. Started this year back in February and I have, I mean, if you go back and watch the early videos to what you're watching right now, world of difference, I'm proud of it, um, but I'm just so happy that, that people are, are finding it and, and subscribing, got, uh, have the different uh, episodes going. And I know I'm taking up an episode here. I'm not doing a bourbon blind tonight, celebration night, but uh, we'll get to it right after this. All right, we're back. What better? Uh, I picked these four bourbons for tonight because this is a fantastic bourbon from Elijah Craig. It's the barrel proof and this is actually batch B520. So I'm gonna have a little of that. Then we're gonna have my personal uh, number one favorite all around depth of note bourbon here, uh, Blade and Bow. Then, one of my new found favorites in the sub $50 range, TX Bourbon. And the one that's making a mark lately, some old tub. And we're just gonna kinda put these together and see what we get. So let's go for it, it's party night. I didn't script this, I, I don't ever script it, but I sometimes I kinda get in my head what I'm gonna do and I don't even have that. This is just about us having some bourbon and celebrating 300 subscribers. Now, I may have something special for 500 if we ever get there, we'll see. But uh, tonight, 300, we're just gonna pour a little bourbon here and I'm gonna bounce these things around off each other while we chit chat. So I can tell you, uh, if you notice, I've, I've worked a little with some stop uh, motion animation at the beginning of the videos. I went through an Adobe Max conference. Uh, it was free, it was all online. Uh, well, it was free if you have Adobe Premiere Pro and you, you have a license and you're paying for it, so you're pretty much paying for it anyway. But it was a great conference, I learned a lot in there. Uh, all of those types of conferences, I never go into them thinking I know more than they do or I'm not gonna learn anything. It was it was pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave those in order so I know what's what in these glasses, but it really doesn't matter because we're just sitting around having fun. But one of the first ones I'm, I'm gonna hit off of here is this old tub. Uh, I've reviewed all of these, but I, I like to revisit my bourbons here and there. and. As the thumbnail said, tonight we drink like hell. So here we go. Mm, that is a good, good base bourbon right there. Good apple notes, uh, good little uh, warmth in it, uh, you know. Uh, let's see, what is the old tub, unfiltered, Whatever it is, it's good. I don't care. I'm not gonna read all the notes. Uh, from that, it's a little sweet, a little sweet, but man, it's good. And of course they say it's unfiltered, uh, but this TX bourbon, wow. I have never gotten this depth of notes on a sub $50 bourbon before. Mm, so good, so good. Uh, for, for the price on this thing, if you can find it, now, I know there's a lot of people talk about the Solera aging, blah, 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 and, and I know some of that hype they put on there, it's not probably accurate. There's nothing nothing of the original left, but, but that leaving some in the barrel and then, uh, you know, fr from the barrel and putting it in and then aging more with it, it just adds depth notes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love that stuff. Man, uh, I have a hard time getting those deeper tobacco notes and things like that out of other bourbons. But let's not uh, miss out on Elijah Craig here. This is uh, really high barrel proof. And uh, you know, it's 127.2 proof. 
63.6% alcohol by volume. And I know I've gone over this in other videos, but I'll do it again. They, by law, they cannot barrel a bourbon at, at higher than 125 proof, but water soaks into wood and leaves the alcohol behind. And that's why it kind of comes up in proof uh, when it sits in the barrel and ages. So uh, it can come up just above uh, the 125 proof range. Hmm. Wow. For a oh hug and the long finish. Wow. That is some really good stuff. But hey, they're all great. I love all bourbons, all of them. Uh, as long as they don't try to, to uh, and I don't know I said before, and I, th I think I said pressure uh, uh, distilled, but yeah, it's pressure aging. When they try to put wood in a like a uh, pressure pot and then put pressure in there and, 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 and force the the wood notes out. That, that's just cheating nature and, and you can't really uh, do that. Uh, it pulls out all the bitters and tannins. And I, I've tried a, a, a couple of bourbons like that in the past. I try to stick with straight bourbons and things like that. <coughs> Excuse me, so, some of the state made bourbons like uh, maybe South Carolina, I, and I'm not picking on a state, I'm just naming states right now. Uh, but uh, you know, even here in North Carolina, I think we can probably have a couple that, that are not good. But uh, Old Nick Williams here in uh, North Carolina is not bad. Uh, I mean, I don't really put it around with these, but um, no, it's not bad, uh, but it's, it's young. Uh, they, they age at the minimum. I tell you what though, just for sipping around on a, on a good, inexpensive bourbon, that, that's not bad at all. There's nothing really, I mean, there's nothing like depth of flavor wise about it, but there's, there's nothing wrong with some old tub, man. It, it's good stuff. But if you want to step it up and, and be right around, maybe just, just a little above that price range, if you can get it, man, this TX bourbon is good and it's, it gives you a, a much darker, deeper flavor. Oh yeah. Wow, that's good. Mm. Right on, spot on. And it starts to dip more, like this is honey sweet, this is like molasses sweet, uh, if you had to compare the two. Uh, and this one's not as sweet, so it's a, a little bit drier. This was uh, pretty sweet. Um, I don't know about mixing this with something like with simple sugar or something, you're probably gonna give yourself anaphylactic shock or something. But yeah, you know, this would be all right. But typically, I don't, I don't mix mine, I drink them neat. Uh, but if you are gonna mix, uh, I know I prefer um, a rye if I'm gonna do like a old fashioned or something. I, I need, it needs more robustness to it. It needs more spice to it. Uh, oh, with that one, I'm gonna go back to this one. Mm, man, that, all of these, these, these are like my children. Uh, you know, I love them all. So, uh, you know, just cheers. Cheers, 300. Mmm. Boy, that Elijah Craig, though. Wow. That stuff. For a higher octane bourbon, man, that thing, it, it holds up really well, and it's super good. Um, but, you know, some days you may not want that, that much of a burn. You don't want that... You know, maybe you're, you're getting ready to go out that night and you don't want to, uh, you know, hurt yourself on, on a couple of snifters. Uh, keep it lower alcohol, uh, lower proof, you know, and then, well, when I get out, I'll have another, a couple more. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good bourbons for that. Uh, but for the price, I, I like this, this old tub. I forget now, what, the, what is the, oh, it's 100 proof. Is this bottled in bond? It's bottled in bond. It says it right there across the top. Uh, yeah, so it's 100 proof. Bottle and bond is 100 proof. Uh, but this one, uh, I think it's uh, yeah, 45.90, you know? And, and then there's some that's, that's, that's lower in proof than that, um, like, like the, the Basil Hayden's and things like that. But Basil Hayden's is so low bourbon. It's so low you can't taste it. Um, but if you put it with anything else, it, the flavor is gone but the flavor is good if you just put it in a snifter. Even if you put it on ice, 
you let that ice melt at all, you're hardly gonna taste any bourbon. Mm. All right, I thought that was bottled and bond, but uh, I had forgotten. So, uh, I apologize, but I had forgotten, but it is bottled and bond, which is, uh, they're 100 proof. Uh, I think I have another one somewhere, uh, but I'm not gonna dig through the shelves. I have plenty of bourbon right here in front of me. Mmm, gosh, I love that Elijah Craig. Um, and it kind of overclouds some of the other stuff, but hey, I'm gonna sit here and drink some more bourbon. I may go live later. Of course, this is not Saturday. It's gonna air on Saturday. This is a different day. I'm not gonna tell you what day it is, but if you catch me on a live a little bit later tonight, um, I didn't drink all this today. meaning the day this airs. <laughs> so with that, thanks everybody. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed. I really hope you're enjoying my channel. I hope you uh, I will continue to bring you uh, the Bourbon Burner series every Monday. I will continue to bring you either a regular bourbon review every Thursday or the first Thursday of every month. We will have the Bourbon Bar Fight series. Uh, I know the one that just aired, and I'm saying that, and it, and it does it hasn't aired yet, but I record these in advance. But the one, by the time you see this, that just aired was a good one. We did a like a COVID version where uh, a buddy of mine and I were outside. Uh, I moved the whole studio outside. Uh, so if you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch that one. It was pretty fun. Um, and then every uh, Saturday, except for this special Saturday here, I'll be doing uh, the Bourbon Blind series. Uh, which uh, is I have my wife uh, label or pour or both uh, bourbons and, and she'll pick them or I'll pick several and then she'll uh, arrange them where I don't know which one is which and then I uh, video it uh, without knowing what the heck's in, in each glass and then I open the envelope and reveal the results. Um, but uh, that, that'll, that'll in, uh, and see you next week uh, after this week. Mm. And I'll get back into it again. But again, just a little special video to say thanks. And I'm gonna keep uh, doing this and, and trying to make these videos better, better and better all the time. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell down there for notifications and I promise I'll keep bringing you these videos.